Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Bio on the road. Uh, once again on the road, as is obvious. It's sunny outside, but not really warm. It's kind of windy, too, so I think that helps a lot. Um, anyway, new stretch of road for every one of you. Got to be careful about that camera over there. I heard when I mean, you got one here, and a little bit to see the other one on the other side of the road. People keep telling me that they switch cameras from one box to the other one. I don't see a point of that. Not really interesting testing it out either. Takes like at least 50 euros if you get caught in one of those damn things. Uh, would be weird though, it's like they don't have enough cameras to go around. But again, we do have a bunch of traffic cams. So yeah. Um, anyway, before we kick things off, here's a question. What's your favorite kind of meat? Pork? Beef? Chicken? Veal? Or feeling fancy? I don't know. I treat all of my foods equal. I prefer my meats over my vegetables. That's just the kind of guy I am. Uh, yeah. Anyway, why do I start talking about food? Because I just had lunch. Uh, not much more to it than that. Which is odd, usually you start talking about food when you get hungry, not when you just eat. Guess I'm just special like that, huh? Ah, uh, summer is upon us. Short pants, t-shirts, ice cream vendors, bugs. Yep. I don't know. I said before that I preferred winter, and I'm sticking to it. Doesn't mean I hate summer, but I mean, like, 21 degrees outside is plenty of heat for me. Probably something to do with the uh, humidity. I recently checked. We have an average humidity across the entire year of like 60%. I thought I was decent, but apparently that is. Being on the highs, um, a bit on the high side. Yeah. It is true though, it's 21 degrees here or 34 on some other countries. There's a big difference. Actually, yeah. I think it's because due to the high humidity or sweat doesn't really evaporate as quickly, therefore you don't cool down as much. Probably something like that. Anyway, uh, this episode is sponsored by Dini, as you can see in front of us. I really say what they do. I guess plumbing or something. I could drive a little closer, but I'm not that kind of guy to go tailgate someone. I'm just being annoying. So yeah, this is a plentiful, plentiful distance. He is driving under the speed limit though, which is something I don't really appreciate. You'd expect vans to be just a little more, you know, fluent in traffic. Yeah. Red light, you might be able to find out what he's trying to sell. What do we have? Yep, plumbing and central heating. There you go. Never need someone. There you have it. Uh, I don't think he'll make house calls when you live in a different country, so it's probably not that interesting for you. But hey, there you go. Free sponsorship. I don't think he'll ever find out. And if he does, hey, let me know, right? Yeah. Probably not, huh? Probably not.
probably not. Uh, anyway, uh, I think this will actually be a longer episode than 10 minutes, which means I'm gonna have to do some splicing. The reason for it is that it's probably not gonna take me another five minutes to get to where I need to be. So, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of a nice piece of road, right? Which is what I'm going to default to when I don't know what to talk about. What a nice stretch of road. There are some cows over there. Ah. Anyway. Um. I don't know if you could hear it, but I've got like my entire trunk filled up with booze. It's not all I cost like water and beer. Making a delivery for someone living. I don't know what you call it, like a place where there's practically nothing. I mean, it's a big load. He doesn't have a car, so, you know, it's kind of a drive for me to do it, but, you know, he's family. Hey, I'm still got a tailgate demon. Yellow bike. Stuff. Welcome to the I have no idea actually. It's not a back alley, is it? No man's land is a bit too much because there are houses here. There's just probably no shops other than a butcher and a, and a bakery. Anyway. Hey, look at that. All the parking I need. Alright, so this is going to be the end of part one then, and uh, I'll be seeing you quite shortly. Told you I'd be back. Had to wave goodbye first. Anyway, he has his deliveries, he's happy. I guess now I can see the timestamp on how much time I spent there, like an hour and a half-ish. Talked about traveling. Where he's been, where I've been. It was good. Uh, you know where I've been, went to London, went to Pants. God damn it, I moved. I fucked it up. Went to London and went to France. London, Paris. London was great because I could understand the people. France slash Paris, yeah, it was a bit overrated. I mean, we went to all the tourist traps in Paris, like the Eiffel Tower and stuff. Uh, I don't know. We got a little too late to the Eiffel Tower, and the tippy top of the tower was already closed off for that day, so. We had to make do with the second floor. Still pretty high up, but you know, not as high up as I would have wanted. And of course, every time you climb a high building, there's wind. Lots and lots of wind. So you couldn't really make decent videos there, because the only thing you could hear was that. I don't know if you actually hear it, I'll hear it on camera. If you do and it's exceptionally loud, I'm sorry. If it's the exact good volume, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, but London was great. Uh, it's been a few years now, because did that in the third year of... Whatever comes after primary school, I think. Is it high school? Could be high school. Like from 12 to 18. A 
already had a decent taste of English language back then. Uh, went on London Eye, London Dungeon, Big Ben, lots of stuff there. I still remember that trip pretty darn well. Because it was the first time we actually got some freedom on those cool trips. Like here's this street. Go wild. And we sort of did. That was cool. Uh, anyway. Uh, last year we went to Turkey. The uh, north, uh, west coast. That was pretty cool. Uh, they weren't that well informed about the exchange rate of their currency, though. In one place it was like 1 euro for 150 of their currency, and you went to the store next door and it was 1 euro for 2 of their currency, so, you know. Uh, let's see if I can pass this truck at a convenient location. Oh, he's actually shoving off better. He's had enough to do stuff. Anyway, we talked about doctors in general and the white coat syndrome. I think I misjudged, well, I think I got the name wrong. Um, but I think it hasn't. Man, I've been, I'm being tailgated by a bus right now. I'm driving 20 over the speed limit. And I'm still being tailgated by a bus. The fudge, man. I mean, you feel free to pass. Yeah, they never do that. Tailgating, sure. Overtaking someone, no. Not just buses, just drivers in general. What up with that, yo? I think I know why, though. It's because, uh, what makes it possible for me to do these videos? The douche cam. Indeed. I've had, I haven't happened quite a lot that, um, I'm driving, someone's tailgating me, and probably they spot the camera, and they suddenly back off like 20 feet, 10 meters, whatever. Um, still being tailgated by a bus. Weird. The opposite happens as well, like I'm driving on the highway, over speed limits, um, in between quotes, tailgating someone, but still a decent distance behind them. And they see the camera and they made it bang on the brakes at the speed limit. They go to the first lane again, I pass them by, they notice I'm not a cop, wham, in my ass, tailgating. You are fucking stupid. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the white coat syndrome. Uh, of which I'm not entirely sure if that's what it's actually called. Like, you get nervous when you see doctors. I mean, I don't really have that. I'm not nervous to go to a doctor, but there are a lot of people who do have that. Um, makes for great results when you need to have your blood pressure taken. I mean, a lot of doctors have resorted to uh, not wearing their lab coat anymore when they're seeing patients. I'm really sure it helps. I mean, you still got to tag doctor on your plate. Hey, what the hell is that? Kind of, cool. Cool. kind of thing hanging over him. I suppose it should help, otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. I don't know, man. Um... I mean, it's the same with dentists. People shiver hearing the word dentist, but I mean, you're going there for a reason, right? If you're so scared of dentists, why go there? They are there to help you. Sure, it can be painful, and usually when I go, it is painful. I mean, they jam this gigantic needle with anesthetics in it. Wait a few seconds. And they jam it underneath. Does that hurt? Yes, damn it, it does hurt. Oh, we should probably put some more in there. Are you kidding? Uh, anyway, the first time I went to a dentist was great, though. Uh, I had to have a teeth pulled because it had a pretty big cavern, cavity in it. And I thought, oh, no, that's not going to be difficult. We're just going to 
pull the tooth out, and uh, it's fine. He grabs that like a gigantic plier, and he's like, crack! And he just shattered the whole tooth. He then could use a smaller size of tweezers to go pick out all the little pieces. That was great. So you get that whole... Um, yeah, you're welcome, by the way. Um, yeah. Anyway. You had to use the drill because things were still stuck in there and it was all burnt tooth you could smell. You nearly puked. <laughs> that would have been great. It's like that suction thing in my mouth. Yep. Yeah. Let's see how many pieces you can suck up with that. Anyway. <sighs> we're, uh... You know what? We're gonna see if douchey parking is still a thing. I don't know if I'm gonna have the time for it. If not... If I want to go home, I have to take a ride there, so it's not like I'm evading going home or anything. I just want to know if douchey parking is still a thing. We're still not in rush hour, it's just ticked by the 3 p.m. marker here. Because, you know, timestamp, I haven't changed the hour on the douche I should probably do that. Just in case I need an alibi. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see how things are over there. And in the meantime, I might as well start my outro, right? So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hoping you're still enjoying the series for free. Use the comment section below if you have anything to say. Be free to like. Yep, there he is. How on earth? I mean, you got a perfectly good driveway. If a car comes from the other end, you're gonna have an accident. And if I end up hitting someone, you are gonna be at fault because I cannot. Well, you cannot park in a corner. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Feel use the comment section below to talk about stuff or ask questions. And I will see you guys on the next bio on the road. Bye, everyone.